Hi, my name is Campbell Lovett, bringing you another in our series of Faith for Thought. Today I want to give thanks for preachers. The challenging part of my role as conference minister is preaching in a different church every Sunday. What this means is, is that if I preach a poor sermon, I don't have the opportunity to try harder the next week and do a better job the next week. For all preachers, however, whatever the context, preaching is an incredible effort of heart, soul, strength, and mind. Preachers are always putting themselves out there on behalf of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Dean of American Preachers, Dr. Gardner Taylor, died just this past Easter after having served for 42 years as the senior minister at Concord Baptist Church in Brooklyn and living for many years and speaking uh, in many different contexts in the, in the years since his retirement. I consider myself blessed to have been in his presence twice and heard his wisdom in workshops for preachers. I remember one time he was asked, Dr. Taylor, preaching comes so easily to you. It, it must be a great joy for you to be able to preach. And, and Dr. Taylor took a moment to compose himself and he replied. He said, every Sunday I wake up before dawn still wrestling with the word that God has put in my heart to preach that week. And every Sunday I walk to church still contemplating the word. And every Sunday I see the same man opening up his little deli coffee shop and making coffee. And every Sunday I wish that I could trade places with him. Preaching is a, a daunting task, sometimes taken for granted. Martin Copenhaver, a wonderful preacher in his own right, shares the story of being on the sidewalk following worship, greeting people and hearing about their week or their concerns or their words about his sermon. And one man came through the line and he said, Martin, every one of your sermons is better than the next one. Now, it wasn't until Martin was driving home that he realized, hey, that wasn't a compliment. Preachers typically get twice as many positive comments as negative ones about their sermons. But the negative comments are the ones that stick. That reminded me of the story of the woman preacher who told her congregation to be sure to invite their friends and neighbors to come to church and hear the best preacher in town. Now, she admitted that she probably was not the best preacher in town, but she suggested that if her congregation continually shared with others that she was the best preacher in town, that maybe, just maybe, over time, she would become a very, very good preacher. So the next time you are in line to greet your preacher, why not come up with some words of encouragement and speak them from your heart? You know, it could make all the difference in the future. And that, my friends, is our faith for thought.